Contagious caprine pleuropneumonia. Contagious caprine pleuropneumonia, CCPP, is a serious disease of goats, occasionally sheep and wild ruminants, caused by Mycoplasma capriculum subspecies capripneumoniae MCCP. The disease is characterized by severe serofibrinous pleuropneumonia, very high morbidity, 100%, and mortality 80 to 100%. Etiology. CCPP is caused by Mycoplasma capriculum subspecies capripneumoniae abbreviated as MCCP. Previously, it was known as Mycoplasma biotype F38. Epidemiology. Distribution of contagious caprine pleuronumonis. Contagious caprine pleuronumonia is a highly fatal disease that occurs in goats in the Middle East, Africa, and Asia. It was seen for the first time on European soil in Thrace, Turkey, in 2002, but does not appear to have spread to neighboring countries, Greece and Bulgaria. Outbreaks have recently been reported in sheep and captive wildlife, including gazelles and small ruminants. CCPP is severe and highly contagious in naive animals. Morbidity is often 100%. Mortality ranges from 60 to 100%. Close confinement increases the spread of disease. Source of infection and transmission of CCPP. The source of infection or carrier or infected animals by the CCPP disease. Inhalation of infected aerosols is the main route of transmission. The main source of contamination is direct contact with affected animals. Airborne transmission can result in distant spread with a 50 meters distant transmission reported. Clinical sign of CCPP. Fever, 410 C anorexia, weakness cough, dyspnea and hyperpnea with grunting, nasal discharge, Exercise intolerance and eventually respiratory distress and lagging behind the flock are main clinical sign of CCPP. Post-mortem findings of CCPP. Typical post-mortem findings with CCPP infections include the granular appearance of one or both lungs and fibrinous pneumonia, in which the lung is covered with fibrin and there is excessive fluid in the thoracic cap. Diagnosis of CCPP. CCPP should be suspected when severe respiratory disease, with a high morbidity and mortality rate, is seen in goats. Definitive diagnosis is made by isolation and identification of the organism. Immunofluorescence, growth or metabolic inhibition tests, and polymerase chain reactions PCR, can also be used for identification. Serological tests include complement fixation, latex agglutination, indirect hemagglutination and enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays ELISA. Serological tests are generally used on a herd basis and not for individual diagnosis. Treatment of CCPP. Antibiotics can be helpful in the treatment of CCPP. Erythromycin, tylosin, tetracycline, or streptomycin are recommended but their success depends on early intervention and treatment. Control and prevention of CCPP. Outbreaks can be eradicated in applying measures of quarantines, movement controls, slaughter of infected and exposed animals, cleaning and disinfection of the premises. In endemic areas, flock testing, slaughter, and on-site quarantine may be helpful in controlling the spread of disease. Vaccination is very important to control and prevent CCPP in which provides protection for over one year. By this we are coming to end of today's program. Subscribe the HVS channel. Thank you for